So this is a video real quick about a uh, upgrading a spectrum analyzer. Uh, this is an HP uh, 8595E uh, analyzer and uh, you can see on the options label here it was uh, originally not equipped with uh, option 9 or 10 which is the, uh, the LO out, first LO out and the option 10 we in the tracking generator. So. Um, uh, I wanted to get a tracking generator for the spectrum analyzer so after going through uh, on the internet buying the parts uh, the major parts being the the LO distribution amplifier which is mounted down here you can uh, uh, sort of see it back in its way back in there behind the uh, uh, what is that behind the um, behind the mixer it mounts back there in the back and um, of course you gotta have the uh, the uh, drive board here goes into one of the expansion slots and the uh, of course the tracking generator itself and still waiting on the uh, last part to arrive which is uh, off the output is a um, step attenuator uh, and basically so the upgrade uh, first thing you gotta do is you know take the unit down apart take off the front panel uh, you got to bring the RF front end out completely out of the unit to what they call the service position. Um, in the, uh, at the original, the, the non uh, tracking generator version, um, there are uh, coming off the YTO, you've got a um, there's an isolator and a um, directional coupler that splits the uh, YTO, which is the first LO out, to the uh, sampler and then to the first mixer. So take the parts out, of course, and uh, the, uh, the the distribution amplifier, the low, it's called a LODA, uh, mounts to the back uh, behind the first mixer. Uh, wired up, um, pretty easy to find. Uh, uh, I just went on eBay and found somebody that had one for sale with the, uh, it still had the wiring harness attached to it and get the color code, um, match it up to the wires here. And uh, wired out. Of course, you got to run some. Uh, had to run some some coax. Originally, it was hard line coming out of the YTO to the uh, that went into the uh, isolator. Um, I just used some RG316. I'm waiting on some hard line to arrive, and you may not be able to see it, but it's down way down there in the bottom. Uh, way down there, a little short piece of RG316 uh, wired up on a couple of SMA connectors to uh, feed into the loader. And then, of course, then that distributes the um, LO amplifiers and it distributes the LO out to the sampler. And uh, you get an LO out port on the back of the unit here. And uh, it also goes to the uh, first mixer. Uh, once that's all wired up um, with the board, uh, there's a routine you can run in the service manual as you set up the, um, the load of the bias and the, um, the bias and the level set that up. Uh, one thing I did learn too is that uh, with this, uh, once you get this LO out on the back here, uh, if that's not terminated at 50 ohms, uh, you'll get on the, uh, you get an error message on the unit saying uh, LO unlevel. So uh, make sure uh, if you're not going to use the output, keep that terminated at 50 ohms. I learned that. Um, but anyway, so I got that's all set up now, and now I've got the uh, this tracking generator module set out here, and it's just set up uh, just to do some testing. Of course, uh, the control cable plugged into the uh, control board here, and uh, then you got the 600 megahertz out from the uh, from the third converter to drive the uh, tracking generator frequency tune, and then the uh, of course the first LON to drive the uh, the sweep here. And of course, once once you install this module, then your first LO out will come off of this connector here, which is essentially just runs straight in through here and come out right back here. Of course, that'll be rewired to the uh, to the back panel rec receptacle. And uh, this is so this is now your tracking gen out here, and I've just got it set up through a, a terminator through a piece of a uh, really long uh, coax going into the uh, spectrum analyzer here. And so what I've done is. I've got the unit set right now to a uh, just a test in a manual sweep at uh, I think it's about 20 second sweep time for the full range of 0 to 
uh, 2.9 gigahertz you see it sweeping there and of course you see it on the you can see the signal there on the analyzer as it sweeps across uh, from uh, basically the start of the sweep up to the full range of uh, 2.9 gigahertz which is the, the maximum output you'll get off the tracking generator so just a real quick video to kind of show you what uh, what I've been done what I've done with this upgrade so far uh, once I get the rest of the parts of course I have to take the unit back down apart which is a big ordeal and uh, for permanent installation I'll probably upgrade some of the um, the cables in the in the RF front end up to a hard line once that gets here and of course install the uh, tracking generator and get a uh, front panel connector which I still need to get for the uh, BNC out right there but once that's all done I'll get it put back together and and I've got a uh, whole bunch of calibration routines to run to get this unit set up and running so that's all thanks for watching